Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. I'm on a road trip today. I'm heading two hours north to a city called Owen Sound. I'm about an hour into the journey and the sun is just starting to show itself. You can get some nice colors in the clouds there. So back in the car and I'll keep going. I am in Owen Sound now. This is, must be the downtown, so I'm looking for the art gallery. I've made it to beautiful downtown Owen Sound, and now I'm going to meet up with the club members of the Toronto Bonsai Society. We're meeting at Intersections Wood Gallery and Studio, and they'll be members of the Toronto Bonsai Society, and we're gonna go on a collection trip today. I'm early. We're early too. Um, but there's a whole other field to the other side. And when I scouted there um, yesterday, there were English hawthorns, uh, native hawthorns, with lots of different pears, lots of different apples. Uh, it's kind of a cool time to go uh, because you can kind of test taste all of the apples that are on the trees. They all taste differently. Three years ago in November, um, I moved from the country where I had a fabulous studio and and 24 acres of land and it was time for us to move into Owen Sound uh, so this is my retirement project <clears throat> and uh, so we do cell work in here and then we do the teaching in the other space um, and I do commission work still as well so uh, if somebody needs something special then I try and deliver on that Good, just just here okay checking out the beautiful view of the bay Off of this uh, laneway in both directions you can head. We have collected uh, a few trees for the last three years um, on the left hand side. On the right hand side it's just as much space if not more. So the cool thing about being out here now again you can see the different fruit. Uh, you can also see the, the different trees. So this is an English uh, hawthorn here with the bright red berries and the parsley-like leaves. They make amazing bonsai. Tell when they're in leaf uh, is how coarse their branch structure is. But if you look towards the top on the uh, crown up there, you can see very few um, fine thin branches. So they're 
are wild pears that are very coarse. There are wild pears that are much finer. Um, leaf size is going to be different. Pear size will all be different. Uh, not many of them around the wild ones will be edible, so they'll be rock hard up until when they start to rot. You will be looking for the lower half of the trunk. You'll have to get in there to see things. It's kind of impossible uh, in the fall to, to take a closer look at the overall uh, naked structure of it, but you're looking to collect a trunk, not necessarily a whole tree. We'll be kind of going in there and pruning it by a graft. Mm -hmm. And that would be, you know, unusable really. In bonsai, it usually swells or if you prune it down below the graph, then you're just getting what was the root stock. Right. So right now you can, it'll have a, this uh, look when it becomes a bonsai as well. So if you look around here, you can. Yeah. Um, like there are branches in here that have lost their leaves. Yeah. And then, but that has, a nice lower it, trunk it here. It does, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it does a taper, a, a swoop, a <laughs> bit. and that's, it has, a, and then it straightens up here. This location for collecting is probably the most scenic and beautiful spot you'll ever collect a tree in. It's got the escarpment up to the one side and the lake off to the other side. There's a beautiful grove of thujas here. Thuja occidentalis, cedars, northern white cedars is the common name. I'm going to go in and check it out. I've got to keep my eyes out on the ground because these cedars like to grow around water, so I don't want to enter a swamp or anything, but so far it looks pretty good. It's doable. I love going in forests. Oh, look at that. As far as the eye can see. There's a nice trunk here. Some nice mature bark on it. Beautiful in here. It's unusual to see cedars with low branches like these. There mustn't be a lot of deer in this area. They usually get eaten. Very nice trunk on that one. Beautiful. It's just slabs of limestone down here. Amazing. This area is just full of wild apple trees, wild pear trees. And I've been trying a lot of these apples right off the tree. And some of them are just fantastic. I'm gonna try this one. Look at that. Right off the tree. Let's try it out. Mmm. Beautiful better than anything you'd ever get in a grocery store. Just full of flavor. Oh, isn't that Look beautiful? Wow. Look at this beauty. That is amazing. Hey? It looks fantastic. Yeah. Was it a hard dig? Uh, no, actually it was not, kind of not flat. Not too bad. Kind of flat. You got a lot of roots with it, so that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna keep most of them. Nice flat radial root base. Yeah. So that's your first tree of the day. Yep.
Here's a wild pear tree, and it's loaded with pears, but apparently they're really woody tasting. You can see the pears here. Yeah, they're hard as a rock. I will try one. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's got some flavor to it. Here's an ancient cedar that's fallen down and you can see the natural driftwood on it. It's just amazing, cracks and it's probably home to a lot of animals. And just in the same area. Yeah. I even tried the pears and they were, that was an interesting taste. Yeah, pears are uh, good. Yeah, they were different. Oh, okay. I'm I told uh, they're too hard. This one wasn't hard, but it, it had, uh, it bit back. Oh, okay. <laughs> It had a taste to it. There's the escarpment in the background. I'm going to try and get up closer to it. There's quite a hill that you have to climb to get up to it, but uh, I'll see if I can get a little closer anyway. Just cut through here. The closer I get to the edge of the escarpment, the denser the trees get. So it's quite, quite hard to get through here. You can see the cedars up ahead. There's some junipers here. Quite a spreading juniper there. Yeah, so here's the cedar forest. And it's just thick. I don't even know if I could get in there. I think there's a trail here, but uh, not so sure it'll be too easy to get in here. It's probably made by deer or something. Wow, look at this, ancient cedars. Yeah, these are old cedars in here. Survival of the fittest in these forests. So you can see all these lower branches have died off. There's no sunlight can get down here. Thuyas, as far as the eye can see. Just a little bit of sunlight filtering through the canopy. Wow, just amazing. So at the moment, it's really quiet in here. It's one of the quietest places I've been in, in a long time. All I can hear is the odd bird, you know, chirping in the background, but it's just, dead silence in here. It's amazing. It feels really good. It feels really peaceful. just amazing to hear nothing. The sound of silence, I guess. We have an apple tree. Okay. And it was it was uh, growing very close to the pear, so I thought I better take the pear out as well. Right. Might as well. Wow. At least they have shallow root systems, though, don't they? I know, but you know what? The, the, the tap roots are really thick. Oh, are they? Yeah. So they. They're in there. You got to find it. And I see. So once you get rid of the tap root, it comes out. There. Yeah. I'm trying to locate it a bit. Mm. A lot wow. of trees out here, right? Oh, there's amazing trees. Amazing place. Wow, that's a nice group. It is one. It is. Wow. So this is also going to be a challenge to take it out. Yeah. <laughs> and to carry back. 
Ah, that's all right. The carrying, I'm not worried about. No. It's the getting it out. Getting it out, eh? So this is a pear tree, is this it? This is a pear tree. And this is a more, this is actually three pear trees. Three, yeah. Wow. But I couldn't resist them because it, the, I like the way it comes out of the ground and then makes this, so then it has this branch going yeah, over. Yeah. And then I really don't know about this one, yeah. if it will be part of the group or not. I see. Because it doesn't really have much going for itself, but we'll see, you know. Yeah, you never know what'll come you out. You never know. Lower. Yeah. I like the way they radiate from radiate mm -hmm. out from the ground. That's yeah, really, yeah, it's uh, it's nice. Really nice, especially this part here. And so on. yeah. Now, what are you collecting? Uh, this is a pear. This is a pear. Oh, this yeah. is that original this is pear. That one close to the road. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't go far. It's coming out well, though, isn't it? It is. It was on uh, those patio stone over there. Okay. So it doesn't it doesn't appear to have a taproot. Right. Like it's just yeah. There's a lot of uh, a limestone lot in this area, and, and it uh, makes a shallow root system, and Kevin doesn't it? Said that maybe it doesn't have a taproot. Yeah, that'd be nice, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good-looking tree. That's a a nice size too. On the one side of the property is the escarpment, and then if we pan over here, we come to the lake. So I'm going to try and get through these trees and see if I can get a view of the lake be the easiest in the world to get through here but there we go and I think there's quite a steep cliff here so I've got to be very careful Ooh. Wow. yeah this is very steep here Yeah, so this is a quite a cliff face I'm standing on. I'll show you a shot of it over here. And you can also see how the cliff face kind of cracks apart there and occasionally falls down. So But yeah, there's the lake out there. Can't really see it much, but it's out there. There's a slightly better view across the lake there. And there's the edge of the cliff. There's some of these seed pods on the cedars. They split open and the little seeds come out of the cones here. Looks like a good year for seeds. The tree's just loaded with them. Yeah, it needs to be replaced. It's getting dull. Cutting stone is not very good with it. Nope. Too much collecting. This is like a, a trophy shot, huh? With the dead <laughs> elephant. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna clean up the roots a little bit here. And then we have to fill in the hole. Yeah. The movement in that, eh? Movement. Oh, is good. wow. Huh? Beautiful. That is outstanding. You got your money's worth today. Okay. I'm just getting stuck. Okay. Too bad it's totally in the shade, but. There's the trophy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh. What have you got? I got a few things. A couple of hot Oh, that looks nice. Yeah. I'll see, see what we end up with. Yeah. Okay, I like the little Look movement at, at the bottom that of that. Holy. Yeah. Give me a little tiny guy. Is that an ash? Yeah. Ash, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was thinking that too, because, yeah. <laughs> you know, just drive it to the, uh, leave it on the right side of the road, okay? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, exactly, bring it up. That's pick it up. Right, so that's Pick it up in the car. Does it fit in the van? It's hot and hot. Yeah. What's the best path here? Yeah. Nothing in the tree? 
There's the road. Alright, we to go. Uh, Good job, guys. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, yeah. Did we lose the other tree? Oh. Maybe it's all oh, here. It is. It is. If you want to ride, you have to put this in the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, Angelo's? That could only I be Angelo's. Angelo's. Right, okay. No, it's mine. Yours? <laughs> oh, is that the yeah, big yeah, one? Yeah, eh? yeah. <laughs> That's a pear, is it? Yep. Yeah, beautiful. Wrapped. Wrapped up and ready to go home. Okay, so I think maybe I should drive the van a little bit for the floor. Thorn is right in the name, but you think I'd have figured that out by now. Sorry, in the tub or what? Yeah. Not yet. No, no. That's what a vehicle looks like after a collection trip. <laughs> okay. Take your, uh, your boots off. Mm -hmm. You couldn't get them on the water. You can't find it. Now try skipping a rock. There we go. <laughs> There's the cool, clear waters of Georgian Bay. Amazing.